everyone! In the previous video, we talked about how audio can really make or break your video. And we also introduced you some of the external microphones Sony has to offer. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some tips on how you can make your own travel vlog. You ready? Let's go! From getting beautiful shots to creating engaging content, you'll learn what to capture during your travels and how to capture them nicely. Let's go! First things first, use the right gear and settings. When I'm travelling, I like to use a compact and lightweight setup so that it's just easier to carry around. I recommend using a camera like the Sony ZV-E10 paired with a shotgun microphone like the ECM G1. The ZV-E10 is an interchangeable lens camera that is compatible with a range of super compact APS-C lenses. What I like about the G1 is that it is extremely fuss-free. Just pop it onto the camera and your audio will be automatically adjusted. You don't have to worry about any sudden loud noises or that your voice wouldn't be recorded clearly. For the camera settings, I recommend going with the 4K resolution for the best quality. And for the shooting mode, using program is enough to ensure your exposures are spot on most of the time. Now we're all set and ready to go. If you are going to make a travel vlog, one way to make it exciting is to show the travel in between. Unless you are going for a specific transition or storytelling, show us how you get from one place to another instead of magically appearing at a place. We're in a really nice neighbourhood right now. It's super rustic. You can see all the uh, graffiti and it's beautiful. Travelling isn't always about the destination. It is also about the journey. And people want to know how you get from one place to another. The G1 also has a shock suppression mount that helps to minimise any movement while exploring the streets. When you have reached the location, engage your audience by giving a good introduction of the place. To do that, it's good to start with an establishing shot. Film the location with a wide-angle lens and pan slowly from side to side. The front focus capture of the G1 prioritises sounds that are being picked up in your filming direction. This is not only great when you are speaking directly to the camera, but also when you want your viewers to hear something particular. Once you're done with the wide shots, get closer with close-up shots. When taking close-ups of items, move the camera slowly with purpose. Plan when and where you want to start and end your move. Other interesting close-ups you can get are enticing videos of local souvenirs and food. Everybody loves food. Look out for food that sounds great while cooking and looks delicious on camera. Also, try to make sure you are as close to the camera as possible for maximum visual effect and the best audio pickup. And finally, show more of yourself and others in the video. Viewers actually love watching vloggers share their experiences on camera. It engages them and makes them feel as though they're there with you. It may be daunting at first, but regular practice will have you looking like a natural in no time. Trust me on this one. And if it's windy, you can put the windscreen on the G1 to reduce any wind noise during the recording. With that, we have come to the end of this trip and I hope you've gained some valuable tips and insights on how you can make your own awesome vlogs. Thank you for watching. Bye! Sunny.